Oh, hello friends, today in this tutorial I will be telling you that how to make a modern JavaScript table with the help of this library which is called as grid.fs. So if you just refresh the application, this will be the application that we will be building here. You will see there are also, this table is also sorted as well. You can sort it by the first name, email address and phone number. And also pagination is also there. You can see that. So the library name is very simple which is grid dot js data table library so if you just type on google the very first result which comes in i think let me just show you the result here this is the website grid js dash io so it's an advanced table plugin for javascript you can even use this inside react angular view and also vanilla js so inside this tutorial i will show you that how to integrate inside javascript and in the later tutorial then i will tell you that how to use this inside other frameworks such as view angular and react so first of all go to the install section and here you will see how to install this plugin either you can install it by node package manager or it also gives you the content delivery network cdn links so for all the source code regarding this video you can go to the video description and here i have given my step by step block where all the source code is given in the video description so go to the video description and go to this blog and simply copy paste the code and now to get started we will first of all integrate it inside our index.html file make this index.html file and the very first thing that we need to do is that we need to include from the official website they give you this uh, javascript tag this is a library tag that you need to install after the body just paste this link script tag and also they give you the css link so simply copy this and right here after the title paste it and now we can make our customs javascript file which is script.js we can include this after we integrate the library so inside script.js i will uh, delete all the code and uh, right here they have given a hello world example right here so now to in in initialize this uh, library uh, we need to make a div we need to give it an id so inside this div we will populate our table so go to index.html and inside the body paste a div which has the id of wrapper and now go inside your script.js initialize this plugin by writing new grid f gridfs dot grid initialize this i think this is a code here sorry this needs to be grid js instead of fs so inside this a set of curly brackets you need to put a set of curly brackets and then we will use the render method and then we will select our git uh, div element by get element by id function here we will pass our id which we have given to the table which is wrapper so here we need to define some options here so basically if i just uh, open this with live server this is just a visual studio code text editor you will see nothing because we haven't defined the data so now to define our data if you go to the documentation you will see this will be a set of columns if i just copy this you will see there is a columns property here you can define the columns of the table i have defined name email and phone number if i just refresh here nothing will be there because we also need data to support and now simply if i have this this data if i just copy this paste it now we have the data so this is simply an array of values so we have defined five values so if i just uh, refresh the browser you will see five columns are being there this is name email phone number this is john mark yon sarah and Epson. we can also have the pagination component by simply adding this property which is pagination and simply we can define it to true and now you will see the pagination controls showing one to five of five results so it will show five results per page this is a default value you can even change this value by let's suppose if you want to change it 
you can define this value inside a property called as limit so inside this pagination you will define this limit property let's suppose i want to display only two results per page so now you will see it will automatically adjust the pages for us so on the first page we are defining two values if you go to the next page the next two values will show and similarly on the third page the last value will show so with the help of limit property you can control how many elements that you want to display per page and then there is a, a third property which is sort you can even uh, set this property to true now you will have also the sorting available to you you can sort the table by name here you can see it will display the first by a then e si similarly for email also and phone number so it has also so sorting capability so if you are making an application fetching some data from the api then you can use this library so it's a great library and there are also some more options that you can have if i just show you so you will see there is also a search functionality if you want to integrate the search functionality you can just provide a search property option also and then inside this you can have enable to true so it will also have the searching capability you can see automatically a input field will be added now you can search for any sort of entry let's suppose i search for j o automatically this entry will be fetched because this is matching whatever i am typing here i can delete this if i search mark here you will see mark will be selected so also automatic searching functional functionality is also there now if i want to style the components then i can also have the style property also you can see we can even style our table so basically this is the property you will add the style property so i can put a comma here and then i can add the style property we are styling the table data and the table we have increasing the font size and also we are adding a custom border so you will see if i reload this you will see we have styled this table here somewhat you will see we have provided a somewhat border and we have changed the font size of the table also so in this way guys you can use this library it's a very advanced library i will highly recommend that you use this you can even change the language as well like this if i just paste this here so if i paste it here you can have these elements emojis icons as well so if i just refresh it you will see now automatically this search icon has been added you can see if i refresh zoom in you will see this is the automatic good icon that is seeing you this is the emoji you can see that automatically this is integrated in the inside this library so very good library that you can use here so this was just a introductory video about this plugin grid js which is a data table library for rendering tables inside vanilla javascript so thanks very much guys for watching this video all the source code will be there inside the video description so download the source code please hit the like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next tutorial